So uh, the first pathway uh, uh, by which uh, UV damages the DNA was the uh, formation of cyclobutane pyrimidine ring, uh, pyrimidine dimer. The second pathway which accounts for most of the remaining UV induced DNA damage produces 6,4 photoproducts. You have seen the CPD uh, accounts for about 75% of the total UV damage to DNA. So uh, the remaining 25 that is uh, contributed by this pathway in which 6,4 photoproducts are formed. A bond is formed between the C6 atom of 3 prime pyrimidine that may be thymine or cytosine and the C4 atom of the 5 prime pyrimidine which is usually cytosine. So uh, uh, see here uh, the uh, uh, bonds these are not formed between C5 and C5, C6 and C6 as it is formed in CPD but here this bond is formed between C4 and C6 of two pyrimidines. So here you can see this is normal DNA and two thymine are present adjacent to each other. So UV can damage this DNA by two ways. One is the cyclobutane thymine dimer formation and the secondly through 6,4 photoproduct formation. So in the first case you know a dimer is formed and two bonds are formed between uh, C5 and C6 atoms of adjacent pyrimidines. But in case of 6,4 photoproduct formation the bond is formed between the C6 of this thymine and C4 of this thymine. So this bond is formed between carbon number 6 of one thymine or uh, any pyrimidine and the carbon number 4 of the other pyrimidine. So in this way by the formation of this bond a dimer is formed. So this is a dimer. So both these are dimers but the uh, mode of formation of these dimers is different. So the 6,4 photo product causes a major distortion in BDNA because the two pyrimidine rings are perpendicular to each other. So by the formation of this bond between C4 and C6 the two, two pyrimidine uh, rings become perpendicular to each other. So that's why uh, it causes a major uh, distortion in contrast to uh, a minor kink which was produced by uh, CPD which was uh, uh, a kink of about uh, 30 uh, angle rotation. So if uh, not removed a pyrimidine dimer or a 6-4 photo product can interfere with the normal operation of the replication and transcription machinery and this interference results in mutations and cell death. Even if the lesion is removed, the lesion caused in the DNA, even if it is removed, the result can be a mutation.